they do. All the time. People love to celebrate. Yeah, people like to celebrate. Well, I guess depressed people don't. Really? Depressed people. That's your model? No, okay. What if they're busy? I mean, we can't just... How would you feel? How would I feel? If I just made 1.4 fucking million goddamn dollars, I tell you how I feel. I feel pretty shit ass good, that's how I feel. Lisa, cursing. Remember what Barb says? Yeah, it oppresses people. And about that teasing. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's go. We are still doing this? Yep. Okay. Uh, Tom, Lisa, so good of you to drop by. Sorry to just pop in on you like this, but... Yeah, we were just so excited. We wanted to come by and celebrate and, um... Oh, and bring you this bottle of champagne. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. That's so kind of you. And really... Uh, what? Uh, it's Lisa and Tom. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tom. <laughs> we were so excited. We wanted to celebrate with you guys. It's a celebration, bitches! Oh, uh, uh, come in. Oh, great. Come in. Great. Yeah. Can I get you something to drink? Um, um, anything. Is that rosé? I'd love one of those. Sure. Uh, Tom? You watching the game? I'll just get two. Said you were too busy for the preseason games. I am. I'm so busy. Uh, we promised the parents that we would uh, host for the weekend from uh, Noah's school. Ah, uh, cool. Is Eddie coming? It's a shame the kids aren't here. Today would be a great day for a play date. What? Oh, play date. Sure. Eddie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eddie and a couple of parents from Noah's school. Uh, Oh. Cheers! <laughs> what exactly are we toasting? We are so happy that you accepted our offer and we just, we wanted to celebrate with you guys. Oh. Oh, your broker hasn't spoken to you yet. No, why, what's wrong? We got another offer. What? How, how can that be? You accepted our offer. Mm, no, technically we didn't. Technically? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You said that we had a deal. You asked for our best and our final offer, and we gave you our best and our final offer. We said that we got another offer. We didn't say that we took the other offer. Okay, well, what are we saying then? We said that we would never dream of taking the other offer <laughs> without giving you the opportunity to match that offer. Yeah, match it. Okay. <clears throat> What's the other offer? $1.6 million. Motherfucking piece of shit! Are mm. you kidding me? You guys give us a sec to yeah. chat about that? Take a minute. That woman is unstable, okay? She is one Brady short of a bunch. <laughs> can't believe he's watching preseason. That was our thing. $200,000, sons of bitches. How can they do that to us? Our goddamn children go to the same motherfucking piece of shit playgroup. Lisa, language. <sighs> it is a lot of money. Honestly, I'm surprised we got it in the first place. Whose side are you on, Tom? I'm just saying these things never go for asking price. Not now, not with the woodwork in that garden. Balls, okay? Balls, Tom. How about that? Find him. How about that pair of shit-stained, useless balls that you once had? Think you can find them? Lisa, this is not about my balls. This is about not ruining a friendship and not ruining our kids' friendship. Who gives a flying fuck about April's friendship? She is five years old. Do you remember who your best friend was when you were five years old? Exactly. She will not remember this relationship. What she will remember is growing up in a beautiful pre-war home with a handsome living room and old world fucking charm. Yeah, 
Five-year-olds really love crown molding. April loves crown molding. Justin Gittens, best friend when I was five. <sighs> Tried to steal my Sega Genesis. Let's go. Guys, I, I'm sorry about before. The truth is, we can't match that offer, but we're hoping that you will still consider our offer. You guys are gonna make so much money on this place anyway, and we've been friends for a really long time, and you can't put a dollar amount on the fact that you would be selling this place to a friend. <laughs> and you can still come over here for play dates. Lisa, sweetheart, let's cut the bullshit. You've been scoping this place out since the first time you laid eyes on it. What? Yeah. This place is a dream come true. This place is huge. You could do so much with this space. You must be so happy here. When's the last time you replaced the water heater? Is this original molding? Any permit damage? So do you own the place or do your parents? Have you guys ever thought about moving to Westchester? So it's fully paid off. I hear it's beautiful there. The market is so crazy right now. Ever thought of selling? How would you feel about us submitting an offer on this place? You know, now that it's for sale. Lisa, I love that our kids play so well together, but I'm not gonna come to play dates at the house where I was raised that someone else now owns because we had to sell it. Let's look at the first world nature of the problem here, okay? We have too many bidders, and you're gonna have to buy some other million dollar home. But we're all all right. Does that sound right to you? Sure. The only question now is, are we okay? And that just depends on the words that come out of your mouth next. What? So we're good. Yes. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my grandfather didn't leave me a million dollar brownstone in a great neighborhood and people tell me to check my privilege. You know, you know, once again, let's go. And you're spoiling your daughter. What? Oh, and I invited all the fellas over that weren't giving a high five on every down. Okay. Have fun Eddie. with Eddie. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie. I guess you have to talk to him about his divorce now. Wow. Whatever. Yeah. Right. Wait, but I, it was. Oh. Okay, it's Saturday. Yeah. Saturday's great. What's up? That was the broker. Right, right. The deal fell through. Oh my God. All right, let's call him back. Let's call, let's call Tom and Lisa Over back. your no, divorced no, no, no. ass no. body. Well, we didn't get the house we wanted. We're now members of the most awkward play group in Brooklyn. And I don't have anyone to watch football with. But. Fuck that fucking house. Yeah. Fucking original goddamn holding. Mm. Fucking Eddie. Fucking Eddie. Piece of shit garden. It's a celebration, bitches! Oh! Hey. Did they steal our champagne? Did they steal the champagne? Oh, wait. Fuck me. This place is huge. You could do so much with this space. 